Thanks so much for joining us here tonight. First on four, a business takes an about face after we investigate claims of discrimination with hiring practices. It all stems from a jobs listing on Craigslist. An international company is looking to hire people except those with certain strikes against them with regards to their physical appearance. This online help wanted ad on Craigslist is from an international company looking to hire sales representatives in the Rio Grande Valley. The listing calls for applicants to be bilingual, own a car, and have a desire to succeed. However, people with acne or weight problems need not apply. Disgusting. Alisa Ayala stumbled across the Craigslist ad. She believes it amounts to a clear form of discrimination. Whether you are 300 pounds or 100 pounds, the way you perform at a job has nothing to do with your appearance. If you're hardworking, you're hardworking. The company in question is Mavi Palacio. It's a skin and wellness company from Mexico that now has an office on Alberta Road in Edinburgh. Alan Palacio runs the business. He calls the language in the ad a cultural mistake lost in translation. I want to apologize. I didn't personally place that ad. My secretary did. We are going to correct it because we had no intention to discriminate. Alisa knows a thing or two about challenges based on looks. Obviously, I do have some blemishes and I am not a I am not uh, considered, I, I would say, skinny. She says maybe Palacio needs to understand good sales help comes in all shapes and sizes. A lot of people told me that I couldn't sell insurance because people are looking for pretty faces. But if you ask my boss, who knows that I'm addicted to Craigslist, by the way, and like I like to laugh at the post, I can sell pretty well. De adentro hacia afuera. Alan says just like in the way his products work, it's what's on the inside of a person that counts. Now, the owner promised to change his company's Craigslist posting, and tonight the owner made good on that promise. Take a look for yourself. There's no mention of weight or skin quality with regards to the type of person they're looking to hire. So I spoke to Elisa Ayala tonight about the changes, and she says she's glad to hear the owner took responsibility for the company's actions. Tell me what you think about the ad on my Facebook page. Was it a form of discrimination, or do you think a health and beauty company has the right to decide who's the face of the company behind the sales force? To find me on Facebook, just search Ryan Wolf. I'm online right now chatting with people about this very story.